Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through final delivery. So how the delivery of the mail is done. So here we'll be discussing about POP3 and IMAP guys. These are the two protocols which can be used. If you want to know about them, we'll be discussing in this lecture guys. This is the basic one and this is an advanced one of this. Okay. Okay. So basically we discussed about the same diagram in our previous lecture also. So the user agent and the user agent. So one will be the sender and one will be the receiver. So they send the mail till the receiver's mail server. So this whole process is done in a two step SMTP process. And whereas retrieving from the mail server, sorry, from the receiver's mail server to receiver, they will be using this POP3 or IMAP protocol guys. So first let us go through POP3 protocol. That is nothing but a post office protocol version 3. So here the 3 indicates the version guys. Okay. So POP3 protocol is used to pull or receive the email IDs from ISP. So you might be having a doubt that what is this ISP. So ISP is nothing but internet service provider guys. Okay. So basically the only issue or the only drawback of POP3 is that it will automatically get deleted guys. It is only one time read option. You can assume in that way. So if you read the message or if you read the mail, it's gone. That's it. Okay. So that is the drawback. So it is a simple and has a limited functionalities. So one connection is established to the mail are copied from the ISP to the user. Okay. So in this way it will be working guys. So POP3 client and POP3 server. Initially you will be giving the username. It said okay. Similarly password. Okay. Then you will be getting the list of all the emails so with their sizes and everything. So once everything is relieved, once you got them, you will be logging out and it is okay. Okay. So here we are having two different modes guys. One is nothing but delete mode. Mail is deleted from the mailbox after retrieving. So basically once all mails are retrieved, all these particular mails are deleted from the server guys. So that is nothing but delete mode and one more mode is nothing but keep mode. So mail can be read and retrieved and stored back in the system, but this should be done manually. That's the only issue here. Okay. So the only disadvantage here is that does not allow the user to organize mails in the server. So basically if you are using Gmail or any kind of normal mails nowadays, you can organize your mails, right? So you can create some folders, you can store them, you can organize them. So that is not there in POP3 because it is a simple and basic one. And user cannot have a separate folders to store them in. That's what I told you, right? Yes. So to resolve these issues and the one more thing is that no partial checking of the content in the mail is mail without downloading is possible. So in POP3, you cannot open the mail until it is completely downloaded into your system. Okay. Okay. So to remove these drawbacks, IMAP came into play. So IMAP, you can say it as IMAP, but I call it as IMAP simply. Okay. So the full form is nothing but internet mail access protocol. Okay. So all the features of POP3 are available in IMAP and it is a powerful and complex guys. So the few features which are new here is you can partially download the email. So basically whenever you open Gmail nowadays, you can directly open a mail and it will be loading automatically slowly, right? Yes. So that is possible because of IMAP only. So users can create, delete or rename the mailbox on the server. Okay. Users can search content on the email. Okay. So they can use the search like for searching. Okay. So user can also check the email header prior to downloading. So basically he can check everything before the, he will be seeing the subject, right? Even nowadays you can see in Gmail, you will be seeing one or two lines of the message, right? So those kind of things you can check. User can create a folders to organize the mails also. Okay. Okay. So now let us go through the differences between POP3 and IMAP guys, so that you will be having a clear idea. Okay. So POP3 is defined in 1939 RFC. Here it is 260. Okay. So it uses a pro, it uses a 110 TCP port number and 149 TCP. Emails can be stored on the PC. Emails are stored in the ISP can be read in the offline mode and can be read only in the online mode guys. Okay. So ISP, it will be getting from there, right? So it will be only in the online mode and it will be loading partially. So that's the reason why it is online mode is mandatory. So user needs backup for the emails, email box and ISP will have the backup here. Okay. Similarly, very simple to implement and not so simple to implement. Okay. Okay. So I hope everyone got some basic idea about retrieving mails, right? So in this lecture, we discussed about POP3 and IMAP guys. Okay. So in the next lecture, we'll be going on through HTTP protocol. Okay. So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching.